<laughs> so you guys all know I didn't make it in the season playoffs. But at least FaZe Red did. And hopefully they do their thing and you know, may, they they win for us. Even though I'm very sad today, I'm gonna be talking about season one playoffs and I'm actually excited to watch. I wanna see how these teams perform. And I'm gonna be doing my predictions for the top eight teams. Um so yeah, let's get right into this. So off the off the rack, off the break, you know, every no everyone loves Optic. Everyone knows Optic has been playing amazing. Everyone, even pro players admit and on almost every team that Optic has a huge chance of winning this, you know. Uh they're very talented. You got Krim, Formal, Scump, who are whew, they're all really talented players, you know, they're really good. You got Nate Shaw who's good as well. Uh I believe I feel like he's really good in S and D, so at that that helps a lot. He you know he's he's smart and he's really good at doing his thing at OBJ and stuff. So with a team like that, it's very solid. You have to really play out of your mind. Your team, your team, that and your opponent's team have to be on point with everything, whether it's callouts, setups, uh, out playing, out gunning. So obviously, Optic going into uh, going to Columbus season one playoffs have the upper hand. I think they're most they're the most prepared. They've won a lot of 5Ks, a lot of 2Ks. Uh, they know what it takes to win. Uh, Krim does a great job at leading them and telling them what to do and what not to do mid game and overall. So it's so hard to. I can easily say Optic is most likely placing first. I believe they're the most skilled, most prepared, more, most everything. But it's so hard to make a top eight with. Excuse me. With such talented teams, I mean, you have denial. I I believe they can win if they did if they did their thing. They can win. Prophecy, and eh, that's that's like a middle for me. They have a chance, but eh. You got Phase. Phase is a great squad. Parasite, Ake, Slasher, Enable. I think they're all really talented players. If Ake can step up his thing, and you know, Parasite and Slasher do a lot better on land compared to online. They can they can do very well. They can take the event. You got Aware. Aware has been playing amazing. T who is this? TJ Hugh, Happy and Accuracy. Uh, they're a really good squad. A lot of people complain about them online, but I think they're just going to be just as good as on land. So that's going to be interesting. TK, uh, they really stepped up. They made it into the league after being or doing very bad. And they, I think Sharp's a great player. I think Looney's a great player. I think Gunjar is a. Uh, I think Gunjar could be a little bit inconsistent, but overall he is a great player as well. And in theory, you know, he's the kind of like the OBJ work and stuff like that. So he does his thing. And I think they're really solid as well. You got Envy now, the new Envy, which is uh, Saints, Zuma, Nameless, and Merc. That team can be very well, very strong as well. And then Rise, which they did pick up some new players, Sender. And uh, who's it? Chino. I think Chino's going with them. So overall, all these teams are really solid. Um... It's really hard to tell you guys what my predictions are, but I can tell you that Optic, I definitely think Optic's going to place first this event. If I would have to bet my money, I would say FaZe is going to place second. Uh, it's really difficult. It's really hard to, you know, predict these things with such talented teams. Um, I think Denial is going to place third. I think TK is going to place fourth. I think Envy is going to place 5th. I think Aware is going to place 6th. It's just, God, there's so good teams. And, like, I want to say, oh, Aware is going to place 2nd. Or Aware is going to place 3rd. But it's just hard to say that. Because, like, you know, from... It's hard to make predictions without seeing these teams live from a past event. But since a lot of these teams are newly formed teams, it's hard to make a, a really good prediction. So I'm just going to go with my gut and what I think. So... Like I said, Optic first, Phase second, uh, Denial third, TK fourth, Envy fifth, Aware sixth, Prophecy seventh, and Rise eighth. Now, I think for those teams, that's what I really think is going to happen. I think TK is going to be third or fourth if they play really well. Uh, they can obviously win it like this before anyone gets any, oh, would you, oh, t oh, obviously, any of these teams can win it. Denial can win it, FaZe can win it, TK can win it, Envy, Aware, all these teams can win the event. 
The the team the two teams that I'll say have the least amount, uh, you know, chance of winning would obviously be Prophecy and Rise. Just because they're kind of newly formed, and if I were to say who has more talented players compared to other teams, I mean MVTK and all that, you know. And last but not least, I think Envy's going to be uh, either hit or miss. I mean, we've been playing them online. I've been playing them online. And it's been, it it wasn't, a, they aren't as good as I thought they would be. You know, like, I played them, I'm like, yo, this is a pretty good squad. Like, overall, you know, they have a good, te they have a good team. But then when I play them, it's nothing special, you know. It's, just, it's like a normal team to me. So, I feel like maybe on land they might perform a little better. Maybe they might shine a little more. Uh, if that's the case, then they'll do really well. If that's not the case, then I feel like there's going to be an average team going in there. Nothing too special. So hopefully my predictions are right. It would be cool to get every prediction right. But fortunately, I think only like my top four might be right or something like that. And I want to say one thing. The one thing only. Good luck to all the teams there. Made the best team win. Hopefully FaZe wins for us. Uh, I really love FaZe. I also want to say I wish I could be there, but I guess better luck next time. And I'm so excited for regionals. Regionals is in two weeks. Pretty much two weeks and, and like two days. And I can't wait to go there. can't wait to compete. I've missed on land. I wish, man, I wish I could play on land again. I've been grinding. I've been playing a lot of a lot of my viewers and streamer and people watch my stream know that. And if you watch me, I've also been playing very well. And I'm excited, you know, I feel really prepared within myself and the squad. I feel I feel like I feel really prepared. I feel like I know a lot of stuff. I feel like I know how to play the game, the map perfectly. And that's that's what I wanted to see for myself within myself. And I'm just in a way I'm proud of myself. I wish I would have made playoffs, but got that must be <coughs> no. Don't mind my red nose, I just finished sneezing like twenty times, but let me continue. So as I was saying, um, I feel really prepared within myself, and I can't wait for land once again. I just miss it. I learned a lot from my mistakes, and, you know, when you learn from your mistakes, you improve. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. To leave my last statement, I think any team can take it. Literally any team. But I think Optic has the highest chance and percentage of taking it, so let's see what happens. Those are the eight top teams in the left corner. Made the best team win. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Apathy, out.